Well, I call him my nephew because I'm so close with this girl. She. Uh, I think I liked her better when she was camera shy. Now that she's turned it back on. <laughs> We're going to go ahead and get started here. You can keep talking. We're going to spray some cold spray. Are you ready? Yes, sir. Okay, go. You're a little nervous. Now you're going to feel, what's she going to feel, Gumby? Stick sting in the burn. A little That's stick. Fine. I'm good to go with that. A little sting, a little bee sting. And we're injecting some lidocaine with epinephrine in here. So we're going to numb this up and we're going to make a little incision and drain this for you. Yes, sir. So how was the little shot? It wasn't bad, was it? No, sir. All right, we're going to make an incision now. Okay. And hopefully you're numb. Here we go. Let's make a little incision here. I'm just gonna make a little what we call a little stab incision here. Okay. Oh yeah, we're oh oh oh. Okay. Okay. Well, some of that was the anesthetic, but we're getting pus out. Let's go ahead and do our culture gun. Okay. Oh, it's it's almost really dark green. You don't want to see this. Okay. And that's the problem with an abscess. Even though you took antibiotics and you did everything you were supposed to do, this really probably needed just to be opened up. A simple. Try to get down in there if you can. There you go. Sorry. Did that hurt? No, sir. Actually, you're going to feel a lot better when all of this comes out. It's, it's, it's been... Miss Gumby, I need to hand that scalpel back to you. I'm just going to push a little bit on this and see if we can get this pus to come on out, okay? okay. Oh, okay. my goodness. Oh, wow. It's you're a not, good one. You're not going to believe this video. Oh, Lord. Do you watch YouTube much? No. You'll want to see this one. Okay. Yeah, this is rather impressive. Oh. Okay, so we are going to go ahead and pack this one for yes, you. Yes, sir. I thought for sure we were just going to open this up and it wasn't going to be a whole lot, but look at that. It's still coming out. Yay. Gummy. Oh, wow. That had to hurt. This is my favorite part. It did. Are you doing okay with pain? Am I hurting you? No, right? sir, you're not. I'm, oh, I'm, I'm it's just... flowing. Look at that, Gummy. It is. I just thought it was it's just... got a beautiful little fountain going. It's, a, it's still pouring out. You've had a lot of pus in there. Yes, it's been... Because it, it, it was oh, traveling oh, up oh, into my, my shoulder. Look at that. Wow. It was almost like I had a numb feeling in my shoulder going up my neck. Well. Thank you. I want to use the other one. Yeah, it, I, this is, it's still in there. That's why I was so nervous about this. It's just, it, it's, it's scared me to death. Yeah. Look at you. It's still coming out. Now I'm just going to apply some gentle pressure around this to kind of help push this out. Okay. And I wrote you a prescription for some antibiotics to take. Yes, sir. And I'm going to give you something for pain, too. This may actually start hurting. Uh, I don't imagine so. Uh, I bet you've <laughs> been you. in pain, haven't you? Yes, yeah, so Take a deep breath if you need to. Are you okay? I'm fine. You it's all right? Just, I'm you just sure? grateful that it's something else. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this is definitely an infection. I mean, there's no question. But, I mean, we're still getting pus out of this. So. It's been kicking my rear end for about two months, but I thought, you know, everything, I just, it just scared me and it came back. That's all. You were worried about cancer, weren't you? Yes. Yeah. This is. This doesn't look at all like cancer. This looks like an infected axillary abs <laughs> wound, an infection at the axil, I should say. Look at that gummy. It's still. Is there a, is there anything that you've ever ever? I mean, I know it's not easy to think about it, but would there be a cause for why they would have some some kind of massive? Infection Maybe. in there. Well, I like did they, they did blood have... work on you, right? Yes, sir. They checked you for diabetes and all of that, I presume? Yes. Uh, uh, what I got on the phone and what made me decide to change, and I'm not being critical, is just I got a 5 o'clock phone call, everything looks all right, you know, click. And I'm like, so I called back and talked to his nurse. Yeah. And I said, I, I can't. This was a local, what kind of, uh, a general doctor, a family doctor? Yes, sir, in Tomball. I think sometimes it's good for docs to get some feedback. No doctor's perfect. No, we all I, make I, mistakes. I, that's, I, that's why I'm not. I just, I just needed. A you just bit want to more, get better, right? A little bit more than what I got. <laughs> His nurse was fantastic. She gave me the rundown. Apparently, I was a very low scale of estrogen. All right, we're going to use a little dilute hydrogen peroxide just to kind of flush the more infection out here. Okay. Uh, here we go. We're going to try. We squirted it in there. It needs to come back out. <laughs> Where did it all go? There it is. Now there it's coming out. Our hydrogen peroxide fans are going to love this. We actually <laughs> have fans that really like to see the hydrogen peroxide do its thing. This is one of the things I like about the hydrogen peroxide. It has this bubbling effect, so it has the, the capability and tendency to sort of carry debris out. And that's a good way to look at it. I remember telling my mother when I had injuries as a little girl, you know, it's like, please use the bubbly stuff in the brown bottle. Uh -huh. She had to chase me down for that. Yeah. We yes. like the bubbly stuff in the brown bottle, don't yes. we? I'm actually going to have to make this incision just a smidgen larger. Okay. But you shouldn't feel it. You should be plenty numb. Smidgen is uh, medical terminology for... <laughs> 10 millimeters. Okay. Now we're going to have to have you come back tomorrow. Yes, sir. 
So we're going to need to remove this packing for you. Okay. And we may or may not have to replace it. Okay. If we do, we'll give you some numbing medicine so it's not that bad. Okay. Guess what? We're done. Oh, great. Isn't that great? Yes, thank All right. you. So we're going to give you something for pain. Something. Tell us about Meta 7 in your own words. Well, taking Meta 7, I'm able to get up. I'm non-lethargic. I'm moving around all day long as if I were in my 20s, getting everything done. What? Um, you mean you're not in your 20s? Burst of energy. <laughs> um, it's, it's a great thing. <laughs> so you like how you feel? I love how I feel. All right. And are you having trouble sleeping at night? No. And do you feel jittery, shaky, nervous, anything like Not that? Not at all. Not like you drank too much caffeine or took ephedra no. or used those monster energy drinks and Not stuff like that? Nothing like that. Nothing. Marvelous. So you're going to stay on it. I'm staying on it. Thanks for your help. You're welcome.